All right, my boy squad, it's been such a fun day on the road again with this little one who's sleeping right now. But what Legaya doesn't know is that we are now going to see a special someone who is of great significance to Legaya's life mm -hmm. and to all of ours actually. And that of course is the breeding facility of Tita Nora. Yes, Tita Nora is the fine lady who sold Legaya to us. I am so excited to show how much Legaya has progressed and to see her aviary. Now, we visited her home location to get um, Legaya, but this is her aviary. Hello, hi, I remember you. This is the one who taught me how to feed, right? <laughs> She's big now. She's sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Oh my. Wow, wow, wow. I hear birds everywhere. <gasps> what a place. Hi, hello, hello, po. Oh my god. Wow, look at that parrot. <gasps> what kind of parrot is this? Oh, Tita Nora. Hi, hi, hi. Alang po yan. Yes, yes. She's Lily. Oh, hi, Lily. Nice to meet you. Hi. Um, this is my Tita Encarna from Toronto. Hi. And my Ate Elsie. Yeah. Oh my, there's so. Oh my god, is that a tortoise? <gasps> a Dabra tortoise! It's huge! Oh my god! Tita Nora, your facility is amazing! Yes! Oh my, look at all those cages! Oh my! This is a zoo! <gasps> wow! Wow, wow, wow! Wow, wow, wow! Oh, look at that! These are Amazons up there! Remember, Mabuhay Squad, we were gonna get one! It was one of the candidates! So this is how much space you need to breed? Wow! Oh, macaws! Awesome! Beautiful macaws! What's that, my friend? What bird is that? It's a macaw. It's called macaw. Yeah, this is a blue and gold macaw. It will grow bigger than that? I, it'll grow a little bit bigger, I think. But around that size. They're big parrots. They're huge. If it becomes very big, they set them free? No, you keep them. <laughs> You, that's why, if, if you're gonna own a macaw, you have to have the space. Oh wow, look at... Here, Tita, this is how big they grow. Look at how big they are. They're massive, right? That's a breeding pair. Wow. Hi guys, you guys are gorgeous. Tita Nora has so many beautiful birds. Look at the, this cockatoo. <gasps> wow. Amazing. Lutino rose-breasted cockatoo. OMG. Oh, scarlet macaw. Camelot. Oh, wow. These are different uh, hybrids of macaws. <gasps> wow. Oh my, this is like the macaw section. They're beautiful. If I had the space. Oh my. OMG, those are hyacinth macaws in there. So Tita Lily here is partners with Tita Nora and they both run this entire breeding facility. OMG! Tita Nora, I want to show you how the big. bird, how big she is. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's such a sweetheart. She's a cuddle bunny, pala. She likes to cuddle. She knows how to step up. Yeah. She knows how to step up. And she's almost potty trained. Yeah. Not speaking yet. <laughs> yeah. But very, like she likes to say. Mikey would say, go poo, since she will poo. Yeah. Kind of scary, because it's very But I want to expose her to everything. She already, already traveled to Pangasinan, right? Yeah, she's good in the car. Tita Nora and Tita Lily, where can they find you if someone wants to buy birds? Facebook, because everyone is asking, where did you get Ligaya? Her name is Ligaya. Ligaya. Yeah. Like, Everyone's asking, where did you get Ligaya? We want one too. So Facebook. Facebook. We will put a link to their Facebook page in the description of this video. But guys, before you buy a parrot, be sure to watch my vlog on things you must uh, consider before buying a parrot. Because uh, these are big commitments. Yes, yeah? of course. Like lifelong commitments. It's like three-year-old child, Diba, right? for 80 years or so. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow, African greys. Oh, 
Is the parents of this one somewhere? Oh my gosh, Omji! We're gonna see the parents of Legaya. Where? We have to see the originator. Oh, these African greys are beautiful. They have a lot of space. Oh, when I move into my home, I'm going to build a big aviary. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, here, guys. Tita Nora, can you show me where the parents of these ones are? You don't know? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, guys. One of these breeding pairs is the parents of Ligaya. We don't know which one. Ligaya, one of your par your biological parents are here somewhere. Yes. Oh, and they're singing to you. You hear that? Oh, see? Look up there. Maybe those are your parents. See? See? Wow. Oh, maybe these are your parents. Oh my. Amazing. Oh, maybe those are your parents in that nesting box. I am amazed by this, Mabu High Squad. Bird breeding. Now, all of her stock are captive rays. They're not caught from the wild. These scarlet... Oh, these birds are the Philippine colors. This is the scarlet macaw. Look at how beautiful. Yeah, I never noticed that. They are Philippine colors. <gasps> scarlet macaws are gorgeous. OMG. Beautiful birds. See? What do you think? This, they're birds too. Oh, she's so attentive. So attentive. She's listening. And look at the macaws looking at the... She, she's like, you're my kind. RJ, look! RJ, look! They're looking at the... Baby. See? Yeah. They're looking at each other. Oh, she's afraid. She's afraid, this one. Ligai is scared now. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Wow. Wow, green wing macaw. Oh, and they're bigger than scarlets. Okay. Holy, they are massive. That's almost dangerous, I feel, if they're not tame. Wow. This here is a beautiful eclectus. It's male because it's green. They're sexually dimorphic. Yeah. So the female who's over there is red. Look at this. This is the Philippine parrot. It's local and it's amazing. Oh, look at it coming. It's coming towards us. Now, all of her stock have permits. All of these birds are completely legal. When you buy from Titanora, um, you it, you get the permit as well. Unbelievable. What a, what a place. Yaganda, right? I know. Where? Oh my gosh, guys, they have a dog named Ligaya too. Talk about fate. <laughs> OMG. Okay, guys, these are the medium-sized parrots. Um, this here is cake oh this is a conure this is not a cake oh this is loud here are the cakes yes see we were considering this also guys there's the dog legaya oh she's shy oh hi legaya also a female those are amazons there amazon immigrants oh wow these white belly cakes are beautiful amazing these are the clowns of the parrot world. They're so active. Guys, that's a Derbian parakeet up there. Get it. This Amazon is not very happy with us being here. That's a threat pose. Okay, I'm going. I get the message. Okay, this was my other choice. A Pionis. They're beautiful birds. It's a bronze winged Pionis. Oh, they're beautiful. The thing I liked about Pionis was that they can bond with look at how beautiful that is they can bond with multiple members of the family and i wanted this pionis color in particular bronze wing oh so gorgeous who knows one day what are you singing it's funny Hi! Oh my gosh, you totally said hi. Hello! Hi! <laughs> oh my goodness! All of these birds are just bundles of joy. Oh wow! Golden conure! Hi! Beautiful! It's green the wing! It looks it's black, black and yellow. Oh, beautiful. Golden conures? I've never seen them before. 
But this one's aggressive. Ta da 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 da. Boom boom. Galeng magsalita. RJ, you like these golden conures, yeah. right? They're so cute. Who knows? If we ever extend our feathered family. Good girl, you were so good around those birds. For sure, she will be a singing bird. You were so good around those birds. I'm so happy for you. Man, the universe showed me the world of birds. RJ, were you impressed with that collection? Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. I like the golden conure. The golden conure was nice. That bronze wing pionis though. OMG. <gasps> Dark blue with like bronze and brown and red underneath. OMG. So nice. Isn't it beautiful? Guys. Lead beater cockatoo from Australia. <gasps> beautiful. Cockatoos are great too. I've always wanted one as a kid. They do need like five hours of cuddling. Like you literally gotta cradle them like babies and stroke them and like they need that kind of love every single day. It's in the... Huh? Hello. Hello. Oh wow, this one's talking. Hello. Oh. Oh. It's saying hello. 500 peso bill. This one. Oh, that's the bird in the 500 peso bill. Yeah. Okay. They're the local hello. species of parrot. Hi. Hi. The guy is watching. She's like, oh, these are birds. What do you think, Legaya? She's like, wow. She's overwhelmed right now. Awesome. Tita Nora is surprised at how calm Legaya is in this situation and like outside. She's surprised. Yes, Legaya. You're well socialized. That's why. Ain't nothing she can't handle. She's brave. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we're here at Tita Nora and Tita Lily's facility is because we're buying pellets. And it's a great thing. Legaya loves the pellets. I was so worried Legaya wouldn't like the pellets. This is so critical because getting the parrots eating a pelleted diet is the safest bet to providing the parrot its you complete like it? nutrition. You, like you know it, what you I know? mean? Like if she wasn't going to be accepting these pellets, we would have had to really give her a huge variety of fruits and vegetables like and um, give her like vitamin and form powders and all of this. And it just gets really kind of confusing and kind of complicated. But because now she's showing a liking for the pellets, there's less guesswork on our part for providing her a balanced nutrition. Interesting. Okay, so apparently this was just a treat. Tita Nora recommends this brand. Oh, it looks different. Okay, let's see if she will eat it. Let's see if she'll eat this higher quality pellet. Mm. Yes. Oh, should we crush it? To, to, oh, okay. Here. Good girl. Yes. Yeah, it's just she's trying to gauge how to eat it. Here, what if I break off a piece and then you eat that? <laughs> she has to learn. You have to learn to eat this. She really wants these ones. Not these ones, but this one. Yeah, she's tired. Okay. Let's just hope she does come to like these kinds. Prina, thank you. <laughs> Prina's been giving us tips on how to feed, how to integrate the pellets. Thank you so much, Tita Lily and Tita Nora. Really appreciate it. And Mabuhay Squad, again, for if you guys feel like you're ready for a parrot or a bird, come to them. Mm -hmm in the description box. Salamat! Yeah, thank you for coming. We'll be back for sure. Now one thing I wanted you guys to also consider is that um, as you can imagine a lot of people get these parrots without completely thinking it through or perhaps life changes for them and they can't fulfill their commitments to keep such demanding animals and then they and the birds end up at shelter so if you're at home watching this um, and you're open to getting an adult bird or providing a loving home to a homeless bird do consider adopting now 
I did consider adopting her Manila, but I don't know of any shelter. Like, parrots are not mainstream pets here in Manila. I don't know of any shelters here in Manila. I mean, I know my vet takes in birds, but my vet clinic didn't have any parrots, didn't have any African greys in particular. Uh, so I did opt to go through a breeder. Mind you, if I ever do get another bird in the future, I will consider adoption. If there are as soon as I move in out of my place that is <laughs> into a bigger place so I wanted to also include that in this vlog because there are a lot of parrots who need homes too in fact most people in the parrot community from what I've learned just like from doing research online since getting the Gaia is that they prefer people adopt not buy from breeders it's a hot topic controversial I don't know consider adoption too he's drinking water now yes Go, go, go. <laughs> OMG, she's eating the pellet. Okay, perfect. Great. But what I had to do was I had to half it. Cut it in half. Mm. Good girl. Look at you eating those crushed up pellets. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now I put it in a large bowl because like she still isn't the most proficient with eating these solids with her beak. Like a lot falls out while she's chewing it. So as long as it falls into this large bowl, she can at least go back and get those pieces that she's dropped. OMG, my boy squad, she is loving the pellet. This makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. I read so much online of people who own African greys that will not eat pellets. Oh, I'm so happy this one is accepting pellets. So happy. All right, Mabu High Squad. So we're all blown away. I'm blown away by her progress. Isn't it crazy? We've literally only had her for like several, a few weeks, right? And the progress is amazing. She started off in a little like Rubbermaid bin as her nest. And then she made her way from the Rubbermaid bin to the small cage because she could climb out of the Rubbermaid bin. And then we moved her from the small cage to this big cage, right? And then from this big cage, she learned to like climb and perch. And now she's like fully perching like a real bird, perching on my shoulder, perching on my hand. She learned step up. She's eating solids. It's incredible, just unbelievable. She's okay being outside. The amount of progress this bird has achieved in just a short time blows my mind. And even Tita Nora was blown away by how much she's advanced. She told us that at birds her age usually are really like flighty and like kind of nervous. But the Gaia has been just an awesome bird. Mm-hmm. So good and still learning. Now, they always say a good teacher knows when it's time for his or her student to make the next step. And I think Legaya over here is totally ready for her next biggest step. A big step which I think will completely change her life. And that step is... <laughs> 